Hi guys, my name is Chris Walker. Today we're at Sydney University filming some street interviews. Like and subscribe. What does Australia Day mean to you? Um, for me, it is a date um, that I don't celebrate because um, it commemorates colonisation. I think it's a very contentious day, a very contentious issue. I think it's a very difficult day for a lot of people and you can't really call it Australia Day if it doesn't include all of Australia. What does Australia Day mean to you? Well, I was just at the Invasion Day rally, so uh, I think it's pretty shit. My name's Leaf. Yeah, it's a sad day because it's the day that this country was um, colonised and invaded. Yeah, but it, and it's just a racist country. Like, I've been away for about 15 years and I'm surprised, not surprised, but um, shocked and horrified to see how racist it still is and that people still want to celebrate the day. Even if we change the date, I don't think there's anything to celebrate about uh, the colonisation of Australia or really just Australian history in general. I think it's a history of oppression, not just for Indigenous people, although today is you know, obviously that especially, but also um, you know, a history of racism against other groups, of raci racism against Muslims, against um, Asian people, um, and a whole form of other oppressions. Um, I think it's a day that unites everyone from different backgrounds because at the end of the day we're on this piece of land and we're all in this together and it's all about diversity and unity. How do you feel about Australia Day? Should be abolished. Yeah, I think so too. I think it needs to be gone, done, yeah. yeah. Uh, to be honest, not that much of a, an opinion. Um, I'm from Sweden, so but Apparently, we're not celebrating uh, today. Um, I'm not making a big fuss about it, uh, but I don't really have an opinion, to be honest. What does Australia Day mean to you? Oh, I don't really know now, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's hard to really say. It's, it's a bit of an awkward day now. So I'm actually just going to go watch a couple of mates play cricket and have a couple of drinks. But yeah, it used to be a bit of a day of celebration but now it's kind of changed changed a little bit it's a bit awkward yeah know. just take the opportunity enjoy the public holiday yeah just a day off work pretty much now yeah yeah, yeah don't personally support the idea of australia day when it was colonized um love the day off i think that's that's a classic australian kind of approach like would love a day off don't really mind where in the year it is but i support changing the date from the 26th uh, australia day uh, <laughs> I don't think there is any meaningful for me because I'm not an uh, Australian citizen, I'm an uh, overseas student, so... What does Invasion Day mean to you? Um, that's probably how I'd refer to Australia Day. Um, and it doesn't just mean um, initial contact of colonisation, but, you know, over 200 years of, of really not great things that have happened in this country for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. The date is so contentious a lot of people feel like today is the day that their land was taken from them and um, which is very understandable we did invade 200 years ago I think it's all about perspective it's the perspective that you take and I think that you can be proud to be Australian but still recognize everything that we've done and how we need to build a better future together so what does invasion day mean to you yeah it's the day when um you know, Captain Cook and the gang came and said that there was no one here. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Like, it's Invasion Day. Yeah, I agree. All right, um, what does Invasion Day mean to you? Um, to be honest, don't know, like, don't know enough about it to have a, have a comment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's probably where I stand on that. Invasion Day? Invasion Day. Sorry, I've never heard of it. I just got here, like, a month ago. Okay. Don't love it don't love it yeah i mean I, I like i like the idea that there's publicity around the fact that it's being called invasion day rather than australia day the fact that it represents uh something pretty horrible in our history rather than something to be proud of um so i think that publicity is good but again would love there to not be an invasion day so if the date was changed uh you still don't think there would be it would be worth a day of celebrating the country that is today no, I think it's um, definitely a step in the right direction, but, you know, the, I think the kind of lucky country thing is a, more of a mythology than an actual fact. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of issues for ordinary people in Australia, and I think until 
we fix them all, we can't really call ourselves the lucky countries. Do you have any traditions on January 26th? Do you protest or celebrate? I always protest. Um, when I lived overseas, I tried to post something on social media about it, but I'm really happy to be back on these lands now and to be able to stand in solidarity with my indigenous siblings. And I also like to take photos. So I try to document, like I sent off lots of live videos today of people talking to try to get my followers from around the world on social media to engage. Do you have any traditions on Australia Day? Do you protest or celebrate in any way? Um, I, I usually go to the march um, at Town Hall and march down to Yarbin. Mm. Um, definitely when I was younger, I didn't, I used to celebrate, used to um, be quite ignorant about what the day meant. Yeah. Um, so happy now that I, that I no longer do that. What are your thoughts on the Australian flag? Should it be changed? Absolutely. Every time I see um, the in indigenous flag lower than the so-called Australian flag, I feel angry. I feel like, ah, oh, just rub it in. Like, just rub it in how racist you are and how, how thieving and how you just like, you know, just, just rub it in everyone's face constantly. Yes, I think it should be changed. I'm glad that the flag is sort of freed, but it's still owned by the Commonwealth. Like, that's something that happened recently. Um, so yeah, it just goes on and on. If you had, uh, say, total control over the concept of today, um, what would you do and what would you change about it? What would you make it into? What, would, what traditions would you put in place, that sort of thing? I guess a lot of the hidden traditions, uh, like traditions of struggle, traditions of resistance, especially indigenous resistance. So, you know, you're not taught about them in schools, but stuff like, you know, the tent embassy, which is the 50th anniversary of. What's your definition of success? Definition of success. I would argue it's sort of not our place to define what success would be in this instance. I think just more allyship and hearing from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people what success would mean to them and then just really knowing how we can best support that. I would imagine changing the date is part of that, but more than that, again, I'd love to learn more.